Welcome back to the agency. This is Detective Chase Clay opening a new case. Now, I've got the case file for it right here, and this one is called Our Last Whistleblower. As the name pertains, it's a DLC to the original Outlast game that came out almost a year afterwards because the original game came out in September 2013 and this one was the 6th of May 2014. Developed and published by Red Barrels as I see no reason why would they change that because the original game was so fantastic and it definitely deserved an addition to the franchise. Now, it's the same thing, it's survival horror, it, it, there's no fighting back. Assumedly, when I open up this new game, it, it may pro say the same thing where your only option is to run, hide, or die. True horror experience where you are fighting. Actually, I don't know what you're fighting because... Let's get to the description as to why, actually. So, Whistleblower will let you play as Wayland Park, a software engineer underneath, under contract with Murkoff, and the man who emailed journalists around the world, including our Miles, uh, at the beginning of Outlast, spending a couple of weeks at Mount Massive, during which he was unable to even talk to his wife and son thanks to strict security protocols, Whalen developed a deep-seated distrust of the profit-motivated scientists and doctors leading dangerous and irresponsible experiments on their patients. Identifying with those poor souls fueled Whalen's anger, and set the stage for his unmasking of Mount Massive's rotten core. Now coming back to it, although Outlast tells the story, sorry, although Whistleblower tells the story to Outlast, it will actually stretch past the events of the first game to show the final chapter in Mount Massive Asylum story. So not only does it give you, because this is what I was talking about, I'm not sure what we're going to be up against because this technically happens before the events of the original Outlast game, but it then bleeds, I guess, into the present and then it will conclude the story, so a bit what happens after the original ending events of Outlast. So it, I guess it, it truly is from before the start to the finish, so we'll hopefully more information about Outlast will be uncovered on that, uncovered. And as I've written in my notes, if it wasn't for Wayland's bravery, none of these terrible events that happened at Mount Massive Asylum under um, Murkoff Corporation, none of it would have been uncovered because who in Outlast, Dr. Wernicke, he said to a, to a, such a profit hungry, a greedy corporation like Murkoff, what is a few doctors and patients and certainly what is one software engineer if they do happen to find out what he's doing and maybe do something to him, I don't know. So it is a pretty big risk on Wayland's part to do this, but except for that, like, we'll see how the story pans out. And obviously, I always say this at the start and end of every case opening and closing, never be afraid to comment down what you think about the case, what's going on, discuss any potential theories and thoughts. Obviously, keep spoilers to a minimum if you already know what happens, but that doesn't mean if you, you have a theory that may happen to come true in at the end, which I guess is kind of a loophole because who's to say you're telling the truth? But trust here. Trust. We got trust here. Um, you know, share it. And as always, if you like the videos, like them because it truly does help out a lot more than you think. With the simple press of a button. Uh, subscribe to become a junior detective of the agency if you haven't already because this is what we're all about is being these video games detectives that uncover these these uh, secrets and mysteries and investigate through them thoroughly and if, also if you haven't already join the agency's discord server because it's probably no it is the best place to get you know updates and be in the know of what's what's happening around the agency what I'm doing here and again to chat along with fellow junior detectives and your old pal detective here and now that is that with that sorted so let's delve into this whistleblower DLC and see how this happens I think I'm still gonna go for normal these may the, the other difficulties may be left to perhaps a stream way in the future, but I think for now we'll, we'll we'll keep it on normal. It's okay. 
I am genuinely excited though to see not only the history of how all this went down with the bodies everywhere and the wall rider, but how this looked before the events that happened. Because as we knew, as we know, Mount Massive Asylum was just terrible, a shit show. Jumping straight into it, I see. Open those eyes. We don't have to wake up, but open your eyes. What's the matter? Somebody hit you? Here. Let me help. You just hit me. Get out of my ear, dude! Uh, Andrew, you getting these alerts? Kind of busy here. It sounds like real trouble. At the engine, they said Hope made a lateral assumption. What do you hope? They're not happy about it? No. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Come on. That was the same stuff that Billy was watching at the end of our last when we found him in that chamber. Is this some kind of brainwashing two hours earlier? This is the email that Waylon was sending to all the journalists, including what Miles received to get him into to get him to investigate Mount Markov Asylum and Mount Massive Asylum in the first place. He's nervous. His leg's shaking bad. Are we in? Let's send it. <laughs> Never mind. This is two hours earlier, and after two hours, he suddenly ends up in a chair being smacked, licked, and brainwashed by that Andrew fella. Right, here we are. Coffee. Wow, if a mug wasn't needed to tell you what's going on. Park? They've paged for you three times already. There's something urgent at the engine. All right. What are you doing in here anyway? Oh. I thought you were just a software guy. Yeah, I'm just a software guy. I'm worried about Wait, losing anti pump targets. One body isn't bad. The doctor was predicting assembly by 150. We're not being given enough information to trust Renegade's predictions. He's been right so far. I just want to know we're inventing something other than shiny new cancers. It's. Again, it's so weird to see this place spotless and. Of course. The therapy's relying on it. Hope maxed out at 190. Hard for million. Yeah. Oh, they're going to say the same thing. No blood. Why weren't you answering the page? I'll tell them you ain't coming. Every security guard I've seen has been either spread across across the floor like a jam, or killed by the the variants. It's weird to see them alive. This is so strange. Guess we get going. That sounds alright. I didn't think I'd miss her this much. The patient. You start to realize you haven't seen a woman or a child in shit years now, right? How long's it been since you've seen Jane? Three weeks now? <sighs> That's nothing. You're serious? <laughs> sure. You got a girlfriend or somebody? I'm married. How long since you've seen her? Honestly, I'm not even sure. And they're giving all these people personality like... Christ, Waylon, hurry up. They're waiting on you. It, it's not just, you know... Brain-dead scientists and stuff. They're giving them... Families and stuff. You're cutting it close. Next patient's incoming in arterial spin still dark. We need you at the front terminal. I don't know what any of this means. They've got Galuskin out of his cell. Page him again. We need this park guy in here now. Tell he's got 15 oh, seconds to that's me? job. Christ. 
I want to listen to everything everyone's saying, but... But I gotta, I gotta go. Hello? Wait, what am I... Oh, right. Silly me. Here? Where am I supposed to be going? Gents? Oh. Keyboard. Flashing keyboard. Hark. Finally. Where have you been? Functional imaging interfaces and talking to the ASL. We got a patient 30 seconds out and we're blind inside his head. I can call into the chamber, ask them to delay. No. I don't need another performance evaluation. Mr. Park here is going to have us up and running before we even know it. Right, Mr. Park? I can't even look at your ugly face, but sure. Happy, Mr. Park? Uh, Steve? FMRI is still dark. Is that the guy You're that looked my ear? friend, Mr. Wayland Park, which I consider more than unkind to his programming skill and considerable dedication to the Murkoff Corporation. All right, bro. Me, That's enough sucking up. This is a high security. It's all right, Agent. Mr. Park was just surprised. I'm sure he's still calm and eager to finish his work. Take your seat. I'm sorry, but there was a guy. Quickly, Mr. Park. My head will need to roll if the fusion monitoring is not active when we put him in the engine. Five seconds. Four. Three. Arterial spin labeling is back online. Good thing. Positioning imaging. This is what Billy was inside the tubes You're in his finished, nose and mouth. Mr. Wayland Park. You can leave. Don't expect anything but honesty in my review of your performance. Alright, now that's done. Okay, so why hold on, why was this guy like, okay, calm You're done down? Here, Mr. Park. Thank you and goodbye. Shut up. Because this guy just was banging on the glass and saying, I can save this, so why was the security guard pointing fingers at me? Why? Why are they all, like, being so hostile? What is this? Poor Waylon. He's just being shat on. I guess I can perhaps finish my email. Now I kind of don't feel as bad about these security guards being ripped to shreds. Because they all seem like asses. Can I go anywhere else, or is it... No, it's just locked, alright. Gotta get back to my laptop. Can I smash through doors? I thought I thought I could smash through doors then. I like how Waylon also closes doors quietly now and not um he doesn't smash them like Nobody's Miles been did. Stories outside of class. On the floor! Down! Hands where I can see him! I guess Mr. Waylon Park. Consulting contract 8208. Software engineer with a level 3 security clearance. Graduated cum laude from Berkeley, but still somehow not smart enough to realize that the last thing a fly ought to do in a spider's web is wiggle. Somehow dumb enough to think that a borrowed laptop, onion router, and firewall patch would be enough to fool the world's leading supplier of biometric security. Stupid, Mr. Park. More than stupid, in fact. That was crazy. I'm afraid we're going to have to have you committed. Mr. Park, will you willingly submit to forced confinement? No. Did you hear that, Agent? He said yes, Mr. Blair. Great. Oh, and uh, did I just hear Mr. Whalen Park volunteer for the morphogenic engine program? No. Well, that's what I heard, Mr. Blair. That was brave indeed, Whalen. The Murkoff Corporation and the Onward March of Science both appreciate your bravery and sacrifice. Maybe you could administer Mr. Park here a light anesthetic. Gladly. Wow. That 
they really caught the tail end of what happened to cause all this that's about to go down. And now I'm back here again. Wow. Oh boy. Is the wall rider free? Is this why the sirens are blaring? Also, I'm really curious to see what what that was on the on the um the, the brainwashing. What was what is this? You see that? Does this brainwashing allow the patient to more clearly see the wall rider or something? Because it's also familiar to the shadows that Miles saw when he was getting beat up by the wall rider. Right, if I die, I fucked up. Oh god, where am I? Hours of hours could have passed, or weeks. Brain filled with static. The same static that Miles was talking about. They made me watch the the engine. Have to get help. Have to call for help. Lisa, I'm sorry. If I die, I know you'll find me. I know you won't rest until you find my body. I hope you find this camera with my corpse. I hope this evident the evidence on it does what I couldn't. Exposes the truth. Lisa, Lisa, baby, I'm so sorry. I fucked up. I thought I was doing the right thing, but I fucked up bad. The same static Miles was hearing. So he said, so the morphogenic engine is that. The, the, these, these, the, these shapes to be ingrained into your brain or something. And cause this. I'll open you up. I'll open you up and show you. Thank you for her. You wait right there. Hey. Oh. Thank you. Yeah, like, I didn't see any of these variants, and now this happened? How long was Waylon subjected to the morphogenic engine? And now I understand the morphogenic engine is... Hey, th th thanks for um letting me free. I'm not gonna... I've learned from last time to not do that. Otherwise, I'll probably get killed. Alright, you stay there. Yeah, so the morphogenic engine does seem to be... Not, not me. Carry on. Yeah. Screw those doctors. Screw the, screw the guards. They've been subjecting you to this pain. You don't want any you. of that. No, sir. Come in. I'm okay, thanks. The nano machine logo that we saw. The Vernica told us about. What am I supposed to? So we don't know if it's been days or weeks, and in that period of time that Waylon was being brainwashed by the morphogenic engine, this all happened. Like, it has all gone to shit. It has all just imploded within itself. Oh, 
deep in town. Come to join our therapy session. No, I'm okay. Here, take the blade. Get around in our friend here. Get a little red on your hands. It's always healthy to express yourself. You keep it bottled up too long and you might do something you regret. That's... You do not. Too good for the likes of us. This your district. Something special. There are no observers here. Now, get the f*** out of here before I change my mind. Man, even if they make the slightest move, I get, I get kind of frightened. Can I see if there's any documents or anything nearby? Nothing? Just a dead doctor. Alright, thank you, sir. Appreciate you. I'm gonna close my door gently, because Waylon has the knowledge to do that. Yeah, but uh, we just don't. Oh, fuck are you trying to go? What the? Come back here! No, 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 no. We, we are, we are okay. We are okay. We are okay. We are okay. Don't open it. Okay, good. Oh boy. Oh, that does not sound nice. Whatever's happening on the other side there. Let's let's start making our way out. Man. This is. Oh wait, excuse me. What did that say? How do I? Interesting. So I can just hang here. What if I just wanted to hold? Do I do I walk backwards? Do I press C? Okay, so I can hang from the ledge. I guess I just walk backwards. We need help now. If we get them on the radio, the National Guard could be here within- We don't even know the radio works. It's shortwave. If the prison's got electricity, they've got signal, and the lights are on. Markov has under control. Yeah, I noticed. We need to get to that radio. Outside help doesn't come without outside attention. Do you want responsibility for every legally shaky thing you did on the Markov company payroll? I know I don't. It's too late to worry about that. This just has to stop. What? You're not thinking straight. Let me make something clear. You try the radio outside the house. I'm gonna give you a whole new supper to be scared of. Are you threatening me? Yes. Well, the well that idiot is probably gonna be one of the people I saw smeared along the wall because as far as I know, I saw no guards survive. Everyone with a, a uniform was just shredded to pieces. Let's read that note that we got. A radio in the prison. There's a radio in the prison, shortwave. If it's electronic, I can make it talk. Make it work for me. There's hope, Lisa. I'm coming home to you. My mistake was subtlety, like you always said. I thought leaking information to a few journalists was us was the safer way. I didn't want the spotlight, the attention. Markov is dangerous, I know that. I thought I had to be subtle for your sake, Lisa, for the boys. But I should have exposed what Markov is doing to the world. I should have shouted to anyone and everyone. I can't die. Not before I reach the ra radio. They can't cover this up now. It's too broken, too dangerous. Because, I, I I forgot what- because they was talking about Billy Hope earlier. No, 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 no. Hi. Hey, you kind of remind me of the Giga Chat. Look at that jawline. Hey, good on you, bro. I'm just gonna go. You can stay in there. I won't say anything to you. Alright, you carry on scratching your brain. Where can I go? Where can I go? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, they, they, they did say that Billy was having some problems. Which way do we want to go? Oh, oh, this was we was on the other side. I see. So something something happened where maybe Billy just got way too much out of control.
Oh my. Oh, well, there you go. It's already started. Yeah, I can reload. Gotcha. It's already started. The massacre is already... It was starting then, but now we have the intestine. I need to get hold of my... You're not security. I was... I'm a patient like you. Stole these clothes from a dead body I found. You gotta get me out of here, please. Liar. Just push the button. Open the door. We can get out of here together. You're such a liar. Now these doctors and 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 maybe some security guards are regretting all they did. Now that their fate is in the hands of the people that they treated so horribly. Sure, I'll help you. It's not like anything bad's gonna happen to you. No, no! Hey, I'm on your side, brother. These these doctors had no conscience when they were sticking tubes up all these patients, and the patients didn't even know that all this would happen to them. The doctors are sick. I'd never seen a man die before today, never seen a dead body outside of a coffin. Dozens today, murdered and worse. I looked into one man's eyes as another tore him to pieces. Claimed he was a doctor, then saw the rags they dressed me in and changed his story, said he was a patient. Could have been either. They're all crazy, all sick. No real difference between them now. The therapy is spreading. And what am I? I watched this man die and only thought, it's not me, thank God. I know I'll die someday, I don't want to be murdered. No real difference between them. I mean, yeah, it is, uh... Oh, what's the word? Is it scorched earth policy? It's like every man for himself, you know? It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Doctor patient, all the... Whoa, Ryder! I should have gone to the airlock. <laughs> Interestingly enough, the wall rider... The wall rider didn't kill me in one go. I'm not one of them. What you mean? Wait, I'm not. Do I need to go this way? I don't know which way. I want to go the way that I don't need to go. That looks like the way I need to go. So I'm going to go this way. Oh, it's locked anyways. All right. But yeah, it, it, it's every man for himself at this point. All the, the focus now is not, you know... I am this person, I am that person. The focus now is how am I going to survive? And that's on everyone's minds at this point. Can I climb? I think I know where I need to go, but I want to look around just in case. So, wait, did, did that guy get out and lock? I, I was too slow to see. So I can't get out now, but all these people, like... Look, these are variants. They're dead too. Because the wall rider... Thank you very much, sir. The wall riders escape now, and as we know, the wall rider really doesn't care about who you are. All, all he cares about is that how quickly he can get into and rip you open to shreds. So I'm also looking out because I'm not sure if this place has um. Oh, hello. Huh? What the hell's happening over there? Hello? Can I? Okay. <laughs> I guess we'll do it this way. What's happening over there? Hold on, I just want to see if I can see... I'm curious as to what's happening over here. Can I climb this? Or do I have to just go which way I'm needed? No, nope, I have to go which way I'm needed. Never mind. It's so strange, though, because... I don't know, it's just really weird because we saw a bit of how it used to look before, but then again, we're, we're back to square one, we're back to where we were. I mean, to be fair, the doctors are kind of smart in trying to pretend to be the patients, but... 
Just the way they walk and talk, the way they handle themselves. You're not gonna fool anyone, right? Can I... Thank you. You're not gonna fool anyone with the way you carry yourself, because... Naturally, an inmate versus someone who is not is just going to have different psychological tendencies. You know, like, like I said, the way they carry themselves, their speech. You're a cannibal. Or a vampire, but I doubt that that's the case here. You're a cannibal. I'm really curious how long has it been then? Because it cannot have been like, oh, a couple hours and everyone's just messed up. This had to have been weeks for this to happen. Oh my. I'm gonna slowly. I really cannot. I cannot see what's happening here. All I know that there's a cannibal on that side, and I don't want to be there. I'm just looking for my batteries and whatnot. I have to walk past him, don't I? Of course I do. Hello? Don't you look at us. I love him. Yeah, buddy, I don't think that's what I love is. You, you, you probably love what he tastes like. Oh, that is rancid. In the cannibal's kitchen. Cannibalism is all, all, also already took over, but it's a mental asylum and it's like a very ad advanced mental degradation that's going on, so... Don't ask to see my body, Lisa. When I die, when you finish the lawsuits that let you pry this footage from Murkoff's army of lawyers and corporate hitmen, don't make them show you my body. Just bury it. Or burn it. Let my sons remember me whole. That man is eating human flesh. He looks at me and I see anger. A little desire. But more than anything, hunger. Please don't make them show you my body. He looks at me and I see anger. Oh, I see anger on him. Oh, I see that. He's talking about what the person sees. Yeah, again, variant, patient, been locked up for how long, been just absolutely messed up, head to toe, brain to flesh. So, crap is going to happen. It, it is going to happen. I, I'm not saying I'm on the... I know earlier I'm like, hey, I'm on your side, but... I'm not saying that whatever's happening here is good, but all I'm saying is that I can... understand. I'm saying this again and again, I really like the subtlety of, of, of Waylon. Of how quietly he does things, and it makes sense because in the first Outlast, I always used to think... I always used to think that you're hiding from people, so why would you slam doors closed for miles, you know? But they seem to have added that little subtlety. But why make Waylon look at the morphogenic engine? Does this? I, I think it's safe. Can you climb up? I'm coming, Cooper. I just have to lock the. There. I'm coming. Hold on. No, I can't do anything about this. I don't have uh, a key, so I need to find that. Oh man, I'm gonna get chased. I am so getting chased right now. What the? <laughs> It was only the shadow of Waylon and not the door. That was weird. Looks like I just floated up into the air. But yeah, I, I don't side with these people, but I can kind of understand what's happening. Can I peek? I am already really afraid. Where do I run? Five seconds. Four, three, two, one.
You know, as Miles, I could do a bit of running, but for some reason, I do not honestly don't. I honestly don't know why. I feel like Wayland's gonna have to be a bit more sneaky on the approach. I don't know why I have I have this feeling that I'm gonna have to try way harder to hide. Oh bloody hell you're naked. How do I get past you then, huh? I'm guessing you walk all the way that way. Then I can just follow behind you. Alright, let's get going. No, I'm not going in there, you mad. Does he close the doors behind him? so much more afraid. This is completely different, man. He's checking the lockers. I need to find that key. It's gotta be in the next room, right? It can't be that far. Can you, like, go away? He's in that room. That's me, slippery little eel. What the? I thought you were floating then. Alright, fantastic. He's gone. I got time to bloody look for stuff. Okay, I can climb through there. I just want to have a look, see though, is if there's anything else I can grab. Any flashing batteries? Bloody nothing, man. It is all empty here. Oh boy. Ha! Huh. No. No, no secret. Can I just grab this battery and go? Please let me check the battery. Uh, no secret. No secret. Oh. Yeah? Okay, yeah. What, what? Yeah, I am. No. There's only like creams and stuff. Yeah, you should probably get someone else to, um, to get that for you. Yeah, you... yeah. Uh, that's okay. Thanks, though. I... no. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. Brother. You ain't- don't tell me no secrets. I don't want to hear your secrets. I'm sorry. I've got a key. I've got to get to the handcuffs. I've got things to do. I'm- 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 I'm sorry. 
Maybe if I come back here, I'll listen to all the secrets you have. Also, the fact that you said I look silky, that just brings me straight back. Wait, am I back where I was? Whoa! Whoa, whoa! I don't want you. Wait, how do I? Oh no, how do I get out? How do I? No! Okay. Yeah, that, that brought me back to when someone else was saying, like, silky, and he was plowing into a dead corpse. It was disgusting. Looks like the light was just out of your reach. Well... Any batteries? I really need some. Document? No. Hopefully that means I can get out that way. What, what do I need? Where do I need to be going right now? I feel like... I don't want to go that way because Mr... I don't know what I'm doing hiding behind a fence. A gate, sorry. I don't I don't wanna do any of this right now. I just wanna ah! oh, I... No 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 Ah, oh, come on. Break it open. Break it open. Break it open. Come on, my, um, Waylon. I've got Miles' name on my mouth. I keep on thinking about Miles. Alright, first of all, I'm not yours. Second of all, I wanted to go through that door. Damn it. Oh, I can. Yahoo, what the hell? There's, uh, there's so much to go through. I don't know where I'm go. The cannibal might be there. I, I'm, I'm assuming I have to go through this way, but what I'll do is, first of all, I'll climb up here to see what's here. Because we need to get to the radio, right? Yes. You just fell from... a chimney. These are all furnaces. I, I, I don't understand what were the point of those buttons as well. <clears throat> Though, although I do assume that I'll probably have to run away from Mr. Uh, Mr. Hungry Cannibal right there. Oh, where do I... I don't know where to go. Oh, these are places to hide. Which does mean that, uh, Mr. Cannibal Fella is gonna be around. I do not like that. Crap. Big crap. Big crap. We, we gotta... I wanna get exploring, though. Stop. No, I can't go back! Damn it! There's gotta be a way. There's always a way. Because the door's open there. Look, there's buttons to press too. I've got to be able to come back here. This feels like a place I'm going to have to return to. Can I... I can't jump over the walls here either, can I? No, it's absolutely locked off. Alright, well. I guess we push forward and perhaps come back here. I don't know. I really don't. No. Okay, priests and whatnot. 
Oh, beautiful. Documents. Let's get to reading. God and family. Father Clark. Excerpt from the readings of Dr. Bruce Newhouse. Father Clark, far it be from me to lie to a man of God, so let me at least say that I will do my personal best to improve the safety of your working conditions. I and the rest of the staff truly appreciate everything you do for our patients, and if you feel threatened by anybody in particular, simply let us know and we can either increase chemical restraints or administer a lobotomy of similar calming procedure. Don't underestimate the contribution your sermons offer our patients especially considering the depth and necessarily chaotic nature of hypnotherapy. Our patients need the bedrocks of God and family. Not all of our poor unfortunates have families to call upon, and so the burden and calling is yours. We are all of us relying on your faith and hard work. Dr. Newhouse. Alright, well, uh, I'm sure his sermons were very calming to the patients of Mount Massive here. Okay, well I can't escape, so that, that crosses that off. There's nothing here to climb up to. Hello? Oh, get okay. <laughs> out my way. Can I climb? <gasps> Alright, I guess I do gotta have a full look of what's going on here. So I, I do gotta go back there, it's not just Flashing uh, buttons at me for no reason. Can I climb anywhere here? No. Here? Yep. Wait, what the? Oh, was that fire? Okay. I was like, Miles, uh, Waylon, allergic to jumping. I keep on saying Miles. Okay, you didn't have to super slam the floor, but. Or the box. I guess we slowly get out of here. And I, I wonder if Waylon is more of a... I wonder if Waylon is more of a killer than Miles. Doesn't seem to be like any of these people are killers, but you never know. Oh, people are living here. So again, was this set up during this calamity that happened, or is someone just happened to like sleeping on top of furnace chimneys? Can I snag that? No, I can't. But there should be a way around regardless. Lockers. Looks like someone's gonna be here soon. Am I right? Okay, I wanna get the batteries first. Give me these. I need everything I can- I need all the support I can get right now. Also, I'm not sure how long this uh, this one's going to be, like this entire journey. So, we'll see if it... Are you coming this way? Because if you are, then I'll hide. Oh well, I, I have... Oh, bloody hell. Where am I? <laughs> that messed me up. I have lockers right here, so I'm gonna go do that. Yeah, hello. If you wanna chase me, you can. Though you probably won't find me because... Oh, this is 100% is a place. This 100% is chasing time. No, I'm not even taking no chances. I'm reloading as soon as I can get the chance. Oh, 
Uh, wh why am I so afraid? Yeah. I told you it would be open. I keep moving, you. Graham. We're almost out. Keep moving, Graham. We're almost out. Oh man, well, knowledge is safety, right? Oh man. Go, Graham. Be free. Live your best life. You know, don't worry about me. I'll be fine. I really won't be fine. I am not doing well right now. I'm always looking up to see if there's any. <laughs> Can I jump through here? I'm really not here. Take yourself from me, so cool. What if we get that buzzsaw? <laughs> if we manage to kill this guy. Which goes back to Will will our pursuers die at the hands of chance or another? Or will they die by our hands? Let, let's see who well it is. Can you go already? Okay, I need to dash through the library and just run forward, right? That's all I need to do. Hurry up, man. I have places to be. Don't hold me here until forever. I think I know what to do. I might have him chase me to the end of the corridor and then hide in the locker and then dash right back. Hello? Mine! You were mine! I'm not anybody's. But you're, you're free to chase me if you want to. Okay, one of the disadvantages of being really slow to close lockers is that they may just see me entering one. I don't hear your chainsaw. Is he gonna be like the Chris Walker of, of Whistleblower where he's just this entity that continues to threaten us? In any case, I gotta dash past this guy, man. He's in my way. Didn't seem to chase me all the way through here, though. I may have to play some trickery to get past him because he was on the far end of the corridor I may be able to just slip past and enter that other room, but I do want to see what's beyond him though, because my curious mind leads me to danger and death. What can I do about it? Hopefully not my danger and death though. I can't pinpoint the sound as well where, where he's coming from. I don't know where to... Go away, man. Just get lost. Go eat someone else's meat. That came out weird. Wait, what? Wait, was this door open all this time? Since when?
Hey, lockers, that's great. At least I can kite him some uh, somehow now. Hello. Oh, why don't I choose the left one? They always go for the left one. It's not me. Okay. Brother, I ain't your mother. I ain't your mama. I'm not gonna feed you. Okay, he he goes into that room. Hopefully I can do the same. I mean, go past it. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, that, that, that's your, that's your googlies. I don't want to see that. <laughs> Please just leave. My back is going to die because of you. <laughs> Please go away, man. Please. Just leave. No, you can't. Shut your mouth. You ain't smelling nothing. Okay. Hopefully you're too, uh, big to- well, you're not too big to go through here, but... Mm, man. Wait, what was on the other? Was it a dead end or? Oh yeah, it was a dead end. All right. Well, we need to get going. Been far too long me dilly dallying over there because that meaty fella wanted some food. Bro, you have all these. <laughs> my god. Alright already. Oh man. Well, I don't know what is wrong with me. Today I just have more heebie jeebies than usual. This chainsaw guy does not help. He is. He is not a good fella. Less alone ecological aspects of humanity. Number seven, of influencing human behavior. The potential use of psychochemicals in political action operations is well recognized, although it has not been explored as thoroughly as might be expected. Chemical division includes it as an objective of its program to be prepared to support or make such operations possible. Non-chemical methods of accomplishing political action operations are also included in the program. Note, 1958. I don't... I'm not good with dates. Present the above McCultra, that name sounds familiar, excerpt technical services, division for budgeting and authorization. Of continued research into research of Dr. Rudolf Fernica, asset, so they even treat him like an asset too. And Project Wall Rider, autopsy of recovered test subjects, show chemical content of bodies, metallic tumors, evidence of subdermal combustion. That includes, indicates heavy psychochemical dosage. Metallic tumors and subdermal explosion. What did they say? Uh, whatever that word was. You see that in the in the variants, like their brain coming out of their head, essentially, and um, that's a result of the the chemical processing that's happened.
Where do I have to hide? <laughs> okay, it's just you blanking your head. It's the Giga Chad variant. It's not worth it to do this. Okay. Well. Oh, man. Thank you. Batteries are the only thing that... Is that a lock? Is that a, a cell that's been opened or is that a room that I can go into? You'll protect me, won't you, Giga Chad variant? All I know that there's lockers. Oh, that's the one he's banging. All I know that there's lockers that I can go back to hide in. Oh, that's the flashing room. Oh, wonderful. I'm guessing I will be able to jump. I will be able to climb the vents and jump back through here. And then dash down here, assumedly. Okay, so... Okay, okay, okay. So I can get into here. And then escape through there. Alright, fantastic. It's gonna be when I when I go down that corridor near that flashing light room. Watch, it's gonna be there. Just just watch. Look at these beds as well. Like you can see the um, the blood and. I can't climb here. I went into the wrong room. I'm not under there, mate. I'm not under there. But... Please do check there. Oh, hungry fuck. You're hungry, not me. I'm fine. I've had dinner. I've had a... a filling amount of... brainwashing and subconscious... influence. Oh, you're- you're not- man, you are just calm, aren't you? Yep, break the door down, do that. Good boy. Break the door down? What are you doing? Do something? This guy is so unpredictable. Can you please break the door down? I can't even open that door back up. This guy is not helping. Like, what do I do? Another vent to climb through. Hello. Buttons. Hello. I can smell you. 
Okay, I can just get out. Leave me alone, please. What do I gotta do? Go, do I gotta go through that door, perhaps? Is he not gonna break that down? Fantastic, you're too weak. Go to the gym. Okay, that's locked. Oh, alright, cool. Where can I go? Through here. I'm trying to keep my battery at a low because I've got one battery left. Hello? Yeah, I don't like any of this that's happening. That Oh, that other room led to a vent. I could have gone past. Locked. I didn't even see what it was because... Okay. We're gonna need to wrap up soon. Oh. Need to get, get to a good point where I can, um... Give it a... You know what, though? This may be a good point to give it a rest because for the moment, it does seem like we are okay. Let's just read what this is. Project Wallrider patient status before, report for Frank Minera. Is this going to be one of the enemies? Just cause, just like we got a, a report for Chris Walker and Billy Hope as well. Therapy status. Minimal morphogenic engine activity and only at extreme stages 5 and 6 levels of hormone therapy. Dream states return repeatedly to images of isolation and betrayal. Zero lucid state. Diagnostics. Heavy bronchial accumulation consistent with patients with histories of tobacco and marijuana, especially low REM activity. Interview notes. At the time of this interview, Frank was down to 155 pounds from his admission weight of 228. He was lethargic and largely non-responsive and exhibiting interest only in hypnotherapy script pattern 9. Vernica. Concerning drinking blood from the chest of sleeping men. He continues to refuse baths or the attention of a barber outside of general anesthesia, stating if I cannot partake, I cannot share. Recommend false nutrition for Mr. Manera if we cannot find something he likes to eat. So, this... This Manera guy, Frank Manera, is this cannibal that's chasing us, so we know more about him. And the only interest he had was the hypnotherapy that involved concerning drinking blood from the chests of sleeping men just like the tale of the wall rider or was it the tale but it said that the wall rider would um visit sleeping what's the word prey victims uh drinking milk from the breasts of women and blood from the breasts of men so he likes the latter part of that apparently and so probably begins his his um his cannibalistic ways. I think I may leave it there though. Go away! This is my place. You guys treated me like absolute. You gotta get me killed! Fuck off! You guys treated me like absolute crap, so. Hey, Karma, you get what's coming to you. I assume I'm gonna need to. Is there a button here or something I can press? Or do I go here? Okay, right. Well, I think this is a good place to leave it next to this crying security guard. I mean, I do kind of feel sorry for him because no one deserves a fate like this. But at the same time, these people knew what they were doing. They knew the horrors and atrocities of what was going on. Because they clearly saw patients being pulled across left, right and center and being subject to these horrible treatments and therapies. Uh, but yeah, we'll leave it there, pick it back up tomorrow, brand new case, Outlast Whistleblower, we'll see how long it goes, because if this gives the, if this is a prequel to the Outlast game, then like I said, also shows the end of the Outlast story, then 
it has to be of equal length or longer than the original, right? Since, unless there's like a time jump cut, but it should be around that, it should be around that, that, that time length, but I guess we'll have to see. Um, I hope this cannibal guy isn't uh, the main tritagonist, antagonist, whatever the word is, because I, I, not tritag, antagonist, because I get the real creeps from him. Very, very strange. Anyways, pick it back up tomorrow. In the meantime, take care and I will see you then.